What it do, y'all? Let's get into it. We ain't gonna waste no time, man. So we got Tara stuck in the car with Vinny. <laughs> Let go, man. This is gonna be funny. Hey guys, it's me, Tara, and I'm here with Mr. Vinny Hacker. Yes. Vinny was supposed okay. to be on my channel three months ago, and then he wasn't. We're not. Well, that wasn't my fault. That's okay. I just he said, "Yes, I'm so down," and then it just went. Crickets. <laughs> you went in my own. You went ghost. Okay. Okay. My fault. Crickets. Not my fault. We're gonna do a problem. I have a problem. What's your problem? I don't like the side of my face. So can we switch positions? Yeah. Okay. Really? Yeah. Okay. Am I allowed to move your seat? Yeah, you can also move the booster. Oh my god. Uh, no way. Oh my god. What? It's a booster. It was a booty seat. I don't want to be a problem to people on the road. Jesus. And this is a new series I'm doing on my channel called Stuck in a Car with Blink. And today we're stuck in a car with Vinny Hacker. Boo. This is so fun. <laughs> Wait, is that a mini? And you need a booster in a mini? Oh gosh! <laughs> I'm just looking at him. Like he looked like he about to pop out the car. <laughs> oh wow, she must be extra small. Already, I'm so excited. I don't like your sarcastic tone. It's not sarcasm. It's just the way I speak. I wouldn't know because we were supposed to film three months ago, and then we didn't. So. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Apologize for that. Something about Vinny and I is every time I've met Vinny, it's been Halloween and I've been in ridiculous costumes. I've met him as Patrick Bateman, which he doesn't remember, but that's okay. That's I'm not part. Um, Your costumes are just too good. Oh my god, really? Mm -hmm. Thank you. And then the first time we like introduced ourselves, I was dressed like Justin fucking Bieber. Like, of course. So good. Because how else would you <laughs> meet me? It was so right good. after I sang One Less Lonely Girl to a mutual friend for her birthday. Mm -hmm. And I walked off my little stage. And the first little person. For little people. <laughs> the first person. I ran into with you, and you're like, that was really good. Because it was gas. I think so too, but I think most people would find it, I don't know, humiliating. But anyways, then the third time we met, I was dressed like Coraline. I'm always in a wig. I don't ever look like myself, so this is the first time we're actually seeing each other, and I'm Tara, and not Justin Bieber. Very nice to meet you in a different, you know, in your actual... <laughs> Hello? In your bra. I think it's trying to say something about us. It's, no, it's a recycle. Yeah, it's recycling. What if it just picks up my car and recycles us? What would you do? Probably die. It's kind of romantic. <laughs> My first thing I, I noticed about you is that your appearance doesn't really like match what I read online about you. You know what I mean? What did you read online about me? Okay, I, I read. Oh gosh, don't read the stuff online about the men. Oh gosh, that's gonna be wrong. Who even wrote the article? That's the question. Why are you reading it? <laughs> that's the second question. Like, so you thought by reading this article, that you was gonna guess what type of person? He is, and what type of clothes and everything else. Really? That's weird. Entered that. I wrote anime, uh -huh. editing, I, I do that. Star Wars, uh, yeah, I Star Wars, and video games. I love that too. No question. And this is like a no offense thing. Does that like does that seem like kind of nerdy to you? I mean, yeah, but no, I don't really. It's whatever. I mean, a lot of the time, the reason why I hate like going on planes and stuff and like being away from my house is because I'd much rather be sitting there playing video games half the time or, you know, like editing things. I'm not going to say what things, but I'm editing Anime? Things. Yeah. And like, this is no offense to like nerdy behavior, like to each their own, like yeah. whatever. But do you find that kind of nerdy? Yeah. And do you think you look nerdy? Depends. Because I don't. It depends if I'm, in, I... if I'm in my element, if I'm sitting down at a chair hunched over like that. No, I think someone could like literally make you the nerdiest person alive and you still wouldn't look nerdy. Right. You don't look nerdy. You got all them piercings and stuff. You look more emo, gothic, or something like that. You got black on. You got, you know what I mean? It's just like, you don't look nerdy. Now, if you would have had a button up shirt, like I normally wear, and glasses on, you took all the earrings off, and you actually uh, did your hair a little bit better, then maybe you look a little bit more dirty. But I get what he's saying. When he's at home, in his own habitat, he may dress that way. Because I do. I see what he's saying. But when he get out, he obviously put his put his thing on. He put his gear on. He get out. Like, well, maybe not with the tattoos now. No, even the tattoos. I, mean, like, I just I feel, feel like, like just like you're just like, like the world thinks you're hot. You know what I mean? So it's like. I was waiting for that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boo hoo. I'm hot. Like, God. Who said boo hoo? I didn't say boo hoo. Like, I was waiting for that one. As if it's like some kind of burden. I had to hear it come out of your mouth. Way better that way. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it doesn't match.
Hatch doesn't add up. Also, these are all things that I have nothing. I, I know nothing about. I know nothing about anime. I've watched three episodes of one anime, and it's Death Note. I don't know. Oh, okay. So she was looking like he's the hot guy instead of the nerdy guy. But he's telling you he's the hot nerdy guy. I mean, he's doing the best of both worlds. Isn't that what you want? Okay. Fifty Shades of Grey. Anybody? <laughs> like anything about anime? I don't. How'd you not finish that? It's such a good movie show. Because I don't like cartoons. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know. I, I, I'm i ignorant. I mean, you, you uploaded like a year ago on YouTube. <laughs> why? Like, why have I not uploaded? Yeah, why have you uploaded? Are you just like a streamer now? I mean, I haven't even been streaming a lot recently. I've been so packed with like, whenever I travel, my, like, not my sleep schedule, but just like my sleep in general, I don't get like any sleep for like two weeks straight. So I'm always trying to like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take this like time to relax when I get back. By that time I'm relaxed, I leave again for work. And can you define work? Modeling. Modeling, ladies and gentlemen. Did you know that when I was 18, I tried to go, like, I tried to, like, you know, pursue modeling, and then they laughed in my face. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, I got denied by, like, three agencies, because I was only, like, 5'11". It's weird, because when I saw you, I'm like, oh, you're taller than I remember. In my head, you're, like, 5'7". Oh, that's crazy. So they denied you for being a little bit too short. That's crazy. I went to a couple agencies. They actually accepted and approved me. We just had the money throughout the time to do it. When I was younger, we didn't have the money to throw me and my sister into the shits. You know? So I just thought, eh, eh, I ain't gonna worry about it. <clears throat> take my talent somewhere, take my handsome face somewhere else. <laughs> Nigga, what is that guy? He was on YouTube. How is he on the front of Forbes? <laughs> the GQ, take my talent somewhere else. You feel me? You ain't gotta do none of that stuff. I know which ones I want to get a part of. I know which ones I don't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the Forbes, I ain't gotta be a uh, model. I just gotta be rich. I knew you were for the longest time. I already told you that a while ago. It's for the camera. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we had a we had a little discussion over text, a little back and forth, yelling at each other. I was yelling at you for fucking not filming with me for and the I was Did you know I you bought you a Christmas sweater? Did you know that? Did you buy me a Christmas? Because I wanted to that? film a Christmas video with you and it was really cute. And I was like, oh cool. He said he's Is very down. To take it. I actually have it. I didn't bring it, but I have it. Okay, well. The sweater says, wrapping presents is hard, but I'm harder. Oh, that's good. And then there's like a little bow on the... Dang it. I know. It's really <laughs> good. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> yeah. Now I can't talk? I don't know. What's the rules in gym? You want me a soda? What kind of soda do you like? Are you a big soda drinker? No. Do you like soda at all? We gotta make up a new one. It's to give me Jinx, you owe me a soda. We should say something else. Jinx, you owe me a hundred. Yeah, Jinx, you owe me a thousand. I like that better. That sounds better to me. Hundred dollars, I can't do shit with that. Jinx, you owe me a thousand. Yeah, I like that. 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 And then I'd still love the one when you hold your nose. Whoever ain't holding their nose, you the one. Hey, you go do that. You take care of that real quick. <laughs> Since she wasn't aware. <laughs> Okay, so I just want one. It's part of the game. Okay, my bad. I just feel like I don't know the rules of Jinx. I know there's one Jinx rule where it's like you can't talk until someone says your name three times. Oh what? I don't know. Maybe my friends are bullies. <laughs> I just want him to shut the fuck up. Nah, nah, nah. We did that too. I remember that one too. Okay, okay. But nobody followed it. Everybody was just like, man, you can't even tell me. It's still talk. I have never heard that. Yeah, maybe, honestly, this all makes sense. Maybe they just wanted me to shut the fuck up, and that's why they <laughs> said, you can't talk until someone says your name three times. Video interruption. Sorry. I just want to take a you the nerd. <laughs> second to thank my video sponsor for this video, BetterHelp. I personally am in therapy and I absolutely adore therapy. With BetterHelp, starting therapy is a lot less intimidating and it's a lot easier on a lot of people. It's whatever is easiest for you, whether that's video chatting, messaging, phone calls. With BetterHelp, they can match you to one of 30,000 therapists based on your needs and preferences. You just take a questionnaire and in most cases, it takes less than 48 hours to match you to a therapist. You can schedule therapy sessions that are convenient for you. The great thing is, is if you don't feel like you and your therapist vibe or... people is their celebrity crush. Because I feel like growing up, I was like obsessed with celebrities and like having a celebrity crush and like... Mm. <laughs> You have to think about it for that long. Like if someone's like, who's your celebrity crush? You can't think of it off the top of your head. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't think men have celebrity crushes. I don't think that's like a thing. Even when we was younger, we might be like, oh, she looks good. Oh, she's beautiful. But it's not like, that's my crush. I'm going to be looking at her every single day. No, it's not happening. It's too many women out here. You see what I'm saying? But for y'all women, there's not that many good men out here. So it's like, obviously, y'all can have celebrity crushes because there's not too many good men out here. So y'all can choose at that point, right? Us, we it's too many good women out here. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Did it's you have too many. It's too many. I was gonna say Rihanna, and if I say Rihanna, then I'm, I just I, I missed everybody else. It's so many great women out here. It's not that many great men. So it makes sense for y'all to be able to, to choose. You able to pick? You like, man, it's only a handful, probably 10, 20 good men. So y'all able to choose. But when it comes to the men, women, it's thousands of great women. We can't just say one because then we gonna miss another. Just say what it is. Like, you know what I'm saying? And most of the men are nothing, which I've noticed. And I ain't talking about the money. I ain't talking about that. Most of them are nothing. Wait, can I phone a friend? Sure, you get one phone call. <sighs> My mom will know. Oh, okay. <laughs> a minute later. Your celebrity crush growing up? Yeah, was there anybody? Uh, I'm thinking of your, uh, your, like your dream board you made. Remember I showed that to you? Oh, God. You had like all this stuff, but actually pretty cool. a lot of it came true. And that you were going to meet Paris Hilton. That you were going to want to meet Paris Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, oh God. God. Did you know that it's my dream to meet Paris Hilton? Yeah. She's my idol. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's nice. Great. I say it all the time. She follows me on TikTok, but I'm like, I say it all the time in every video I do probably that she's my idol and I think the day I meet Paris Hilton. She get her on. She get her on for a YouTube video. I don't think she'd ever want it. Why would she ever want to presence me with her grace? She'd love that. Oh my God. <clears throat> Tara needs therapy. You tell me I now, you need therapy. Why would you even say that? Why would you say why would you say that? It doesn't even make sense. Anybody would love to be on your video, Tar. Like, you're tripping. Anyways. God, I think I would literally throw up all over her. <laughs> Is that a good thing or a bad thing? A good thing I'd just be so, I don't know. Depends on what you're into. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Paris Hilton's in a throw up, though. I don't think she's in Devon play, no. no. What about, did you ever get compared to a celebrity growing up? I got compared to Ashton Kutcher when I, uh, whenever I put a hat on. Oh, really? I get compared to Mila Kunis all the time. I do that? <laughs> yeah, they're married now. It could be us one day. You want to get married to me? Yeah. It could be us one day. Yep. I, do it tomorrow. I don't think you'd survive. Let's do it tomorrow. A day. <laughs> a day, even just being with, like, being with There's me. There's no hurt in trying. We just get divorced. You know, if it doesn't work out. Someone just have a divorce by our name? Yeah, why not? But there's some benefits that can come with it. That's true. There are, what, like, taxes? Taxes. Taxes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get married. Let's get married so we could... And we can do taxes together. You would hate doing that. I actually have a tax, like, a tax thing with my guy tomorrow. He hates me. Like, my tax guy was a game to stop shopping for clothes. You have a shopping problem. I had a problem with spending money on video games for a while. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> So one does the video games, the other one does the shopping. Mini hacker, everyone. Playing CSGO cases. What? I can't gauge what kind of music you like. If you were to guess, what would you say? I don't know. I wouldn't I wouldn't look at you and guess you like anime or you like Star Wars. So I can't look at you and guess the music But like you if like. you were to take a wild guess. A wild guess based on what? Based on stuff I already know about you or based yeah. on just what you look like? Yeah. Just what you know about me. I don't know. It's a hard watch. What do you think I listen to? Wait, I feel like that's easy. Uh, <laughs> I feel like you listen to pop. No? Mm -mm. Rock? Yeah. Classic rock, yeah. Yeah, classic rock's good. Mm -hmm. I like jazz. You like jazz? I love jazz. I just feel like everyone and their mothers are like, oh my god, mini hacker, you're so hot. Like, have my baby. No, okay, so most of the time, actually, when people, like, meet me, like, for the first time or something, mm -hmm. or, like, see me, mm -hmm. they, like, don't approach. I've had, like, friends who are my friends now, like, they said when they first were, like, approaching me or whatever, they didn't want to because I looked, like, just, like, pissed off. I didn't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's what they always say. That's the model look, though. It's like a. It would seem as if you're mean mugging people, but half the time you're just looking at them, just trying to figure out, like, is they gonna walk up to you and talk to you, or is they just gonna look at you? It's like, hey, 
how are you doing? <laughs> like, they're like, oh my God, he's real. I remember somebody told me, they like, you're not catfish? I'm like, no, I'm not catfish. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Not even close. I look exactly the same. Literally. I don't do no enhancements. We're not doing none of that stuff, right? Like, let's say I'm like at a house party and I like know like the person that's hosting it, but nobody else. That's I'll probably like, like the situation we're in. Sit. Well, no, I knew I knew a decent amount of people. Oh, did you? Yeah. Why are you smiling? Why are you laughing about that? Because I've only ever seen you out on Halloween. Like I've never seen you out. You don't go out. Yeah, no, that's true. Like I've only ever seen you on Halloween parties ever. Like Whether it was Anakin. yeah, dude. Every year you dress up as Anakin. <laughs> yeah, I dress up as Kaneki once. You know who that is, though, because you're stupid. I don't know who that is. <laughs> you know, I don't know shit about Star Wars. I'm sorry, I'm not. It's not Star Wars. Wars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My okay. point, exactly. You know what I like? I like shopping. I like shoes. I like vibrators. <laughs> what? Yeah, I heard that story. What story? <laughs> I'm like, what? What have you heard about me? See, this is what I mean. It's like you know, like I've heard a lot about you. What did you hear about me? You know, people talk. I heard you throw great parties. I do throw great parties. I did actually hear that from somebody. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh my god! You don't know what that does for me. I don't, but I I can kind of tell. Yeah. Yeah. I love throwing good parties, and the fact that you're gonna be here for my one month. I know. I'm sad. I'm sad. I invited you to my birthday last year. Did that guy? No. I think I, I would have. I know. I, I think I would have remembered. I, remembered. I think you would have remembered. Actually, because you I probably, don't go out. You probably wouldn't have because people get really drunk at my parties. Good point. Yeah. People get really drunk at mine too. Thanks for inviting me. <laughs> the fact they keep doing this like they both just like. Mm. <laughs> invite your mind. You want to be invited this year? <laughs> <laughs> You're cute. I ain't gonna lie. You want to be invited this year? She's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Were you popular in high school? No. Really? I was really quiet. I didn't go out. I didn't do anything but play video games or what. That sounds like me. I ain't gonna lie. Even though everybody really wanted to talk to me, I still didn't talk to people. I remember I had like five or six girls chasing me in high school, bro. They kept telling me they friend like me, she wanted to talk to you. I'm like, I'm good. I just wanted to play video games and sleep all day. Literally. I did not want to go to school. I just wanted to sleep all day, play video games. I don't know what was up with that. Watching the man. I actually went back to a bar one time. Oh, people were probably like, oh my God! And I saw these two girls I knew from Holy Names, which I didn't mind them. You know, like I never thought that they were weird or anything, but they came up to me and they were like, hey, video. I was like, oh, hey, you guys. And they were like, yeah, we got into a conversation that ended up leading into her, like one of them being like, yeah, I just remember in high school, everybody thought you were fucking weird because you just didn't talk. And I was like, That's so how, does that, how does that equivalent not talking to being Right, that's the stuff I be saying. Remember somebody had told me, or my homie had told me, he like, humans gotta communicate. I'm like, you know what's so crazy? When I was younger, I used to didn't talk. I didn't talk at all. Like, at all. I just was mute. I was a mute. I was quiet. Like, they thought I was shy. Nigga wasn't shy, stupid. Just didn't talk. Nowadays, I'm like, I might need to go back to that. Because... Even when you do talk, it's like, man, people still don't understand what you're saying half the time. I might go back to not talking again. You know what I'm saying? Be like a tree. Right? Just hold all the intellect. Don't say a word. Weird. I mean, I guess it could. No, I don't think so. I also, like, I feel like I talked to everyone in high school, and, like, even people who were quiet, I, like, tried to get them to talk, and they talked to me. I never thought people were weird just because they were quiet. I think being weird's cool. Being weird is so dope. What's your favorite movie? Star Wars? Yeah. Men's Being Girls? I could have guessed that. Yeah. 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 What else do I have on it? The last thing is Vincent, question mark. I wanted to know if your full name is Vincent. Yeah. Vincent Cole Hacker. Okay. The okay. camera overheated everyone. I mean, he's just too hot. That's, That's a bar. That was good, right? That's a bar. Yeah. Um, or at least everyone thinks he is. Are you ever scared of, like, being a catfish? No. Or do you think you know you're hot in person? I think I know that I'm attractive in person. There he is, everyone. There he is. We're... Yeah. You get people nervous. People be dropping shit and all of that, bro. That's what be happening to me. I be laughing on the inside. 
I try not to show expression on the outside, but on the inside, I be laughing. I'm like, I know they didn't just drop that. <laughs> I'm like, what you scared? <laughs> I'm like, what you scared? <sighs> and then, you know, you just give them a little smile, a little grin, just to make sure that they express to them that everything is okay. I seen you trip up. I seen you drop that. But, you know, it's cool. We all, you know, we all do it. We all do it. It's all cool. <laughs> Somebody was like, you just think you perfect. I was like, no. Nah. One of my eyebrows I, is different from the others, though. I don't think it's perfect. Actually, one of my eyes is different from the other, too. You start, like, as you look at yourself, you know, you, you can see that both sides are obviously not the same. They're close. Eh, close enough. Eh. But it's not the same. So it's not perfect, right? It ain't perfect. We got an extra strand of hair over here. Now I got it over here. It's not perfect. <laughs> Just saying. Nothing is perfect. That's the beauty in it. That's the beauty in it. That's the beauty in it. That's the beauty of life. The fact that nothing is perfect. That means everything is always different. For example, I'm about to go outside today, right? Once it stops raining or whatever the case may be, right? And then the sky will be different. The sky is never the same. The air is never the same. The air is always different every single day. It never will be the same, right? The winds are blowing all different kinds of stuff in the air, right? We don't have the same air that we had yesterday, right? It's different air. Every day is different. Everything changes co continuously. The universe continues to expand, right? But nothing is perfect. Why? Because everything expands. So it can't be perfect, right? If it was perfect, it wouldn't change. It only makes sense. <laughs> so everything is continuously changing, for sure. It's so dark. It's going to fucking drive me nuts. We'll still have all the pyramids and all different kinds of stuff if everything stays the same. Right? <laughs> Should we drive around? <laughs> you want to? I trust you. All right. Well, okay, I think cool should come back a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my God, you know where we're going? Where? We're going to a studio. A studio? Yeah. What do you? What do you? What kind of studio? What do you mean? There's a couch on it. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you mean studio? Can you define studio? Yeah. What are you saying? Did you really not get that? Everybody's gonna get that. That was kind of outlandish, though. Oh my God, I just got it! <laughs> What's your favorite song? Man Eater. Ooh, I love that song. A few moments later. <laughs> Why do you love that song? I think that's the song I heard on that day. Uh, it was a movie I was watching. And the, the dude, he was playing the piano. And the girl was like, what's the favorite song he liked to play? And he was like, Man Eater. And so when he played it to her, she started crying. Like She started crying because she felt like... <laughs> she felt like it was her. Like... Essentially, a man eater. <laughs> I know you like cars. Yes, I love this car actually. But yeah, it is a good song though. Well. Thank you. But I mean, like, just in general, do you like it? I mean, personally, yes, so much. Good answer. <laughs> I'd be pissed. What's your favorite tattoo you have? One of my favorites. You don't have one on yeah, your wiener. I have a wiener on my wiener. No, you don't. Yeah, I have a wiener on my wiener. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> No, actually, though. Oh, you don't believe me? You don't believe me? You don't believe me? We're in a neighborhood. There's children around, Vinny. You right there. We can get out of here. You've been complaining about my videos being really short, so I hope this one's long enough for you. What's your favorite show? Like, just regular show? Regular show. Like, what's your favorite show? Regular show. Like, a regular show. Regular show. It's a cartoon. She don't watch cartoons. So she don't know. <laughs> the show is called Regular Show. She's like, no, what's the show? What's the show? Yeah, a Regular Show. What's the show? Is that a show name? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a bird and a raccoon and a mm -hmm. Oh, I know that show. Yeah, it's a good show. show. You know, for it being called The Regular Show, it's very weird. It's about yeah. a bird and a raccoon. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they funny. They funny. 
if y'all can keep this going, this is hilarious, right? Just keep it fun, right? Don't ever take anything he says serious. Don't take nothing she says serious. <laughs> as long as you ever can do that, you'll be totally fine. You'll be totally fine. Oh, this is amazing. Thanks. <laughs> this is Vinny Hacker making Tari even feel stupid for however long this video is supposed to be. That's You're fine. So smart. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> I told you I'm very smart and funny and humble and sexy and pretty and cute and fun. All the above. All the above. I'm the full package. Indeed. Indeed you are. Guys, make sure you like this video if you like Vinny on my channel. Um, comment down below who or what you guys want to see next. Thank you for coming. Of course. Anytime. <laughs> I see what Tara talking about. Hey, Vinny. <laughs> like, it's hard for her to, uh, she's trying to, like, <laughs> she's trying to investigate. And she's like, uh, let's say it one more time. He's like, of course, anytime. And she's just like, is that supposed to be sarcastic? It's like everything he says is sarcastic. Everything. So she doesn't know. So now she has to figure out. <laughs> I think she likes it, though. <sighs> Indeed you are. Guys, make sure you like this video if you like video on my channel. Um, comment down below who or what you guys want to see next. Thank you for coming. Of course, anytime. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Try to skedaddle. Nah, I like Vinny on there. That was fine. That was fine. Vinny's a cool guy. All right, see y'all in the next one. We out. Peace. Y'all send me some videos of Vinny, bro. In the comment section. I'm going to watch Vinny and Tara. You feel me? All right, y'all.